I'm a little bit shocked at just how many hip patients we see at Caring Medical and often uh, labral tears and you know hip problems go undiagnosed because somebody might have pain, it's kind of in the lower back, kind of in the hip, then they get an MRI and the MRI shows degenerated discs, then they'll end up getting all this treatment toward the low back when it's obvious on physical examination that it's a hip problem. You know, especially if somebody has pain in the front here, in the front, in the front, like in the groin, often that's a hip problem. Now, when to use cellular prolotherapy for hip problems and when to use, you know, regular prolotherapy, normally it relates to what is the diagnosis. When somebody has the standard hip instability or they have a trochanteric tendonitis or bursitis, you know, we normally would use just regular prolotherapy. When someone has like a really bad labral tear, because you got to realize labral tears, it means that, you know, there's a tear, so you have to glue it back together. You know, a PRP, bone marrow, that's very gluey, it's thicker. So we found that, you know, clients tend to get better quicker, you know, if we just go right to PRP or a bone marrow or lipoaspirate. You know, when somebody is missing cartilage, like they have bone on bone on certain part of their hip, or they have a big osteochondral defect that was shown on arthroscopy, you know, they have a big part of the cartilage is missing. In that situation, they're actually missing cartilage cells. So you actually want to give them cells. So we get the cells from the blood, that's called PRP, or we get it from the bone marrow. That's either direct or concentrated bone marrow, or we get the cells from the fat. We call that lipoaspirate prolotherapy. So if somebody has an osteochondral defect, bone on bone on the hip, uh, those would be situations where we would consider using cellular prolotherapy. You know, I did mention labral tears. I'm just saying that uh, labral tears respond really, really well to prolotherapy. You know, we do have a paper on it now, so I'd encourage people to search, you know, Google and you know, find that paper because it's the first paper ever to show that, you know, prolotherapy is effective for, effective for labral tears.